all of these different things I feel like as women we take them and we kind of own them and I just want you to know like no no Hey guys, it's Aaliyah with Open Doors, Open Hearts Blog, and today I am excited because I am finally going to show you our mantle. So if you've been around for a little while, then you know that this project has been underway for quite some time, but it is finally done. And today I'm going to talk to you about a few of the reasons why it took us longer than it should have to get this barn bean mantle up. And I'll be sharing all of those at the end of the video. So if you are wanting to hang a barn bean mantle up over your fireplace, that you will not make the same mistakes that we did. But before we jump into that, I wanted to just kind of talk to you guys about the mantle and how I'm feeling about it. If you watched the lime wash video, then you know I was feeling a little uneasy about the way that that project turned out. Um, I The stone has been growing on me, um, but now that the mantle is up, don't tell my husband I said this. He only watches like 50% of the videos I post, so there's a chance he'll never hear this as long as nobody tells him. Um, he was right. I actually really, really like the stone now that the mantle is up. And that was something he had told me back then. He told me to just stop freaking out about the stone and just wait till the mantle was up because he was certain that once the mantle was up, I would like it. And he was right. I thought he was wrong back then, but he was right. So now I will say it was not my original vision for what our fireplace would end up looking like, but now that it's done, I really do like it. Uh, the other day I was vacuuming in here and I just happened to look up in the middle of sweeping the living room floor and I just... I really, really like the way it looks over here now. Um, we've been living with it without the mantle and it just like stone to the um, drywall, which was one of the options that I did discuss in my original video where I was talking about um, just like the inspiration and the ideas and the planning phase of this remodel or this makeover. But, um, after living it with that for a while, not intentionally, the plan was always to hang the, the barn beam up. But after living with it for about nine months with no mantle, um, I am very, very happy that we did decide to do the barn beam mantle. And I do think it looks really, really good. Um, when I first started Open Doors, Open Hearts blog, I started that long before I started the YouTube channel. Um, I never shared our living room space. And I thought if I would just do some of these little projects, um, I lightened the stained wood coffee table. I redid um, one of the lamps that I have in the living room. And I just recently painted the cabinet. I added a rug. There were so many like little things that I did and I thought that each of these little things would make me enjoy this space more. But now that this fireplace is done and the mantle is on, when I looked up after sweeping, that is 100% why I did not like sharing the living room. I did not like the stone. I didn't like the stone to the ceiling. I did not like that it was orange and I did not like the traditional the traditional style mantle. But now that we have it all like this, I love it. And I was taking pictures yesterday or Saturday, a couple days ago, and it was so much fun. I really, really love taking pictures. That's one of my favorite parts about sharing our home with you and our journey with you are the pictures that I take and share over on the blog. And um, I just really like that artistic, creative expression. It's something that I didn't know that I liked until I started doing it and now I love it. Um, but I told my husband that this was the first time taking pictures in our living room when I was actually in love with what I was capturing. So you 
this was less than $200. This whole project was less than $200. Now, that does not include the drywall. We had some drywall left over from a different project, so I don't actually know how much drywall costs, but I'll look that up and then I'll add that here. So it would be, um, I think total we're at $160 for this project. So then 160 plus whatever the drywall costs. Um, is what this project cost us. Um, I was doing some research looking at different places where I could purchase a like a reclaimed barn beam um, that was cut to size and all the things, um, buying it from a company. And a, a hand-hewn beam like this one was generally somewhere between eight and nine hundred dollars. And I got this for $60 off Facebook Marketplace. Now, again, at the end of the video, we are going to discuss different things that my husband would do differently if we did it again. But the way that we did it, about $200 for this whole entire project. And I feel like that's a huge win. And as just some encouragement, because I feel like it's really easy to watch these YouTube videos or look at pictures on Instagram and Pinterest and get really down on ourselves because our home does not look that way. We would love for it to look that way, but it doesn't. And I just want you to know that we have lived here for six years and in those six years, we have said that we were going to redo. I mean, this was literally one of the first things that we said of, of all of the things about the house that we did not like. The fireplace was top five easy. And we said we were going to redo it. We said we were going to redo it. And here we are six years later and it's just now finished. So if you are feeling discouraged about yourself or the state of your home I just want you to extend yourself some grace and know that you are good enough no matter what the state or condition of your home is right now as a woman as a mother as a wife I feel like I very often will take on the like what I think about all of the things that give me my different titles like I'm a wife, I'm a mother, I'm a homemaker, I'm a pet owner, all of those things. If the dogs are acting crazy, I feel like that's a reflection on me. And if the home is a hot mess, that's a reflection on me. If the kids misbehave, that's a reflection on me. All of these different things, I feel like as women, we take them and we kind of own them. And I just want you to know, like, no, you are good enough you you are enough and all of those other things do not define how good you are they are not the standard by which to measure yourself by so no matter what the, the current condition of your home is just know that you are enough so now i'm going to talk about the different lessons that i learned during this project so I told you guys that the barn beam mantle only cost $60 um, and that is because it was like a little bit more discounted than some of the other beams that I was finding on Facebook Marketplace because it was originally rounded on two sides. Although that look is really good and popular in like a cabin style home, the more popular style for a mantle is a more squared off look. Just kind of by luck, um, my father-in-law got an Alaskan chainsaw and we did not even know what this was. Um, we just happened to be up at his house one day and he was talking about it um, and how he'd been using it and doing different projects with it. And my husband was like, that's exactly what we need for the mantles. We ended up taking it up to my in-laws and we cut it so that it was square. My husband said that he, if he could redo the whole thing, he would just buy a squared off mantle. We probably would have also extended our radius for how far we would be willing to drive to go pick it up because I think our radius was like 10 miles or something ridiculous. So then the second thing is before we took it up to our in-laws, my in-laws to cut it with the Alaskan chainsaw, I did not decide the size that I wanted it to be. So we cut it, it was squared off, all was good. We brought it back home, we brought it in and my husband held it up and it was too big. 
I wish that I had done my research before. That way we would have cut it the right size the first time instead of having to do multiple trips. And honestly, that is the biggest thing that took time away from getting this done quicker. Third thing that we would do different is the way that we hung it on the wall. So there are mantle brackets that you can get and I was looking on Etsy um, the, for the size of our mantle, the one that we needed would probably be around $150. We spent $30 on our brackets because we just went to Home Depot and got some industrial pipe and um, fastened that to the studs, which worked fine. The mantle is secure and it's not coming down, but looking back, my husband said he would have bought the brackets even though they were more expensive it would have been worth the time and energy that went into lining it up and making sure that the mantle was on properly or was gonna fit properly onto those um, industrial pipes so if you want to be super thrifty you are more than welcome to do it the way that we did it but um, sometimes you do a project and you realize while you saved a lot of money there's maybe like a middle ground between like super thrifty and overspending so if we were to do it again we would try to live in that middle zone where it was kind of the balance between the two that's the other one pull yourself forward or pull yourself up. Can you do it? So I'm going to link in the description to the other two videos in this series. The initial one is the planning phase and inspiration and where I got my inspiration from and just the ideas. And then the second one is how we transitioned the stone from orange to what it is now. So if you didn't see the whole journey before today, where this started and where we are now, then go ahead and watch the next video and you can start at the very beginning where we planned everything and then go through the whole thing of the planning and then the stone transition and then today with a fireplace all done.